Welcome back guys. Today's a video on the A-arm bearing, bushing, and seals to kind of show you how to check for play, how to change them, put it all back together. That's it. In your days out on the trails, you really always want to go over your equipment. Okay, so to check for A-arm play, what we want to do is get the front end off the ground. See, we're off the ground. Just grab the tire. You want to put a little pressure. And what you're trying to do is just try and find movement in here. These are all tight. These are new. And there is no more play. So no more play at all. So just watch the movement, the play in it. See if we can just kind of pull some of this apart. See how crusty everything is? Right inside here, there's a thin little clip. There's gonna be one on this side, one on the other side, and that'll help get this, get the bearing out. So for me to get this, I ended up taking my little screwdriver. I made it real, pointy and it seems to be enough to get down in here and get it to pop out There it is. I'm not gonna show you how to take every, every single one apart. That's just kind of boring. I tried to show different angles of taking it apart and really I feel like my hands were too much in the way or the, my head and I just really couldn't give you a great angle. But inside here there's two grooves and that's where those clips were. The bearings held in between them. So I'm gonna show you, I'll show you how to install them. And then you would just repeat on every single one, on every single A-arm. So what we have here is an all balls. Ah, balls. All balls A-arm bushing kit. The cool thing about this kit and what Honda did for us is that this is 1987 A-arm right here. But this kit is good for upper or lower. And it's good for an 87 250X. All the way up to a 700X, a 2009 Honda 700X. So that's pretty cool. That, that's awfully nice and generous of Honda to do that for us. Inside the kit, we got our All Balls Racing sticker. That is why we do all the things we do are for stickers. Inside the kit, you're going to have your seals, your bushings, two bearings, and those aggravating clips. Clips are easy to install, but there's the pan to get out. I'll bring in a little bit closer and you can see what's going on here. So we're gonna have four bushings, two on each side. Four clips, two on either side of the bearings. I have two bearings, pivot style bearings. And then we have four seals. They have a cup side. Cup side faces towards the bearing. So it builds like a club sandwich inside of each of these tubes. All right, so if we start at the very bottom, work our way outside and all the way up and through, you're gonna have your bushing. So it'll be the bushing, then the seal,
Then we would have a clip, then the bearing, then another clip, seal, cup side towards the bearing, and then the next bushing. So it builds into this beautiful club sandwich all inside this tube. Now we'll just put it together, for reals. I like to do a little bit of anti-seize on the bearing, just on the outside of the bearing. Kind of keep that from seizing in that tube, in case I ever got to do this job again. But who knows, maybe we'll get another 30 years out of this. Take a little bit from my finger, rub it in there, get her lubed up. Bearing's gonna drop in. Then I'm gonna take a 14 millimeter socket. I'm gonna push on the race of the bearing. The race, the machined race, not onto the actual bearing. You'll damage that and then it'll be no good. And then it's junk. Just tap this down into place. You're not going to really feel its seat against anything. It's just going to go down until you see the groove. So I see the groove. Kind of get you a little closer look. So the bearing got hit down. Just past that groove right in front of it. And now we'll slide the clip and the clip will drop right into place. Once I get it in place, I see it fully drops in, and then I try and give it a little bit of a slide, see if it'll turn, and that, that just assures me that it's in place. Now we'll take some grease. You're just kind of filling it. Take the cup side of the seal. I'm just gonna tap it flush. Then we can slide in our bushing. And that's it. Because then you flip it over and do it on the other side. Same thing. So we're just going to take the clip, throw it on the ground. Now if you push the bearing a little too far, you may have to hit it back up, like back down. Get this in place, but it looks like we're pretty good. So it clips in, clip moves, fill it with grease. So it's just really just repetition here. I really want to thank you if you've made it this far in the video. I'm doing my best to try and keep you a little entertained and information, teach you a little something.
That's it. And then repeat. That's it. I hope you get through it just like that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.